We're trying to build something for the community. Owensboro hasn't had a lot of excitement going on lately, so uh, you know we tried to bring uh, Universal Championship Wrestling, provide something to the community, maybe uh, bring some people out, uh, hopefully help build the wrestling community, provide something to our customers, provide something to Universal Championship Wrestling and their fan base, and hopefully bring some excitement to Owensboro. But the only thing in Orangeboro is a bunch of fat, out of shape, toothless, welfare loving idiots. He was able to do anything and everything. He is Logan Abel. Like I've wrestled outside probably six or seven times and only one time has not rained or been freezing cold. The mat hurts a lot more because your body is just so cold and you know weak feeling that when you hit that mat it's just like twice as hard and painful. to this lady right here. You don't even talk, you whistle because you don't have enough teeth. Now out in the live, it's more interesting to me than on TV, you know, on TV, it's, it's you can see a lot of stuff out here that you can't see on TV, you know what I'm saying. Like you can see sometimes they don't really hit each other, but sometimes, you know, some people do get mad and they do hit each other, so. The kids were lined up. We had a railing right here. The kids were lined up on top of it. They were yelling. I think maybe they were a little PG-13, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll deal with it. These are grown up. They know how to handle it. Being, being a, a, a heel or a bad guy, is, for us, we enjoy it more. There's more creative freedom to it. Uh, you kind of get to set the pace, and you get to think outside the box a little bit. You get to uh, do things that you normally wouldn't do in real life, you know, like you get to tell people that they stink or, or get to say crazier things and be a little outlandish and get away with it and have fun. So I think that's that's one of the biggest differences. People like that make what we do easy because that, that, that's why you sometimes will pick one like that, pick a person out like that because you know those are the ones that you're going to get the most reaction of, the easiest to pick on and the ones who, you know, react, which just makes what you do much easier.